Hi guys, today I'm in Aarhus, Denmark. So I just arrived from Copenhagen and it was only a three hour train ride. First Airbnb tour. So I am in this super cute and tiny apartment. It's actually kind of reminding me of a New York apartment of how small it is. But okay, so this is the living area, the area, and the kitchen. <laughs> And that's it here's the bathroom very tiny but then up here is the lofted bed but i haven't eaten since lunch and it's about 6 p.m so time for food A frozen yogurt place. I got my little cup because I haven't seen a frozen yogurt place in a very long time because in Copenhagen we don't have it there so definitely had to take it but also I'm going to be completely honest the Vietnamese food that I had before this I couldn't even finish it it wasn't even that good so I realized like as I kept eating that they literally only put the veggies and there was like no tofu or no like fake meats or any like substitute in the bun mi and usually when there's like a vegan or vegetarian bun mi they would have like a at least tofu but there's like nothing in it so if you're a vegan or vegetarian i definitely don't advise to go there walking near the water which is really nice and so far Aarhus is a very cute city I feel like I walked in a circle multiple times without realizing it but tomorrow is going to be my first full day here so I'll see you guys tomorrow hi another day in Aarhus and I'm on my way to get breakfast and a coffee nothing in this world could ever bring them down I'm a matcha latte but honestly look at this spoon how cool it's kind of like a doctor's stethoscope thing <laughs> yeah they're invincible and she's just in the background now i'm on my way to den gamlebut which means the old town apparently it's a museum i don't know we'll see all i got to say is Aarhus is definitely way more hillier than Copenhagen and she says, I wish I could be like the cool kids. Just a heads up, if you are trying to get to Den Gamlebut, it is also through the botanical garden which i was planning to go to after not before but to get to there it's like a long trail and they make you go like up and down the hills Now I'm in a part of the old town where it's like the shopping. So I'm in front of the camera store. By the way, everything here is fake. Also, I didn't even mention, so yes, it's a museum, but it's not like your typical museum. It's basically going back in time of how people lived back then in Denmark or specifically in Aarhus. And you basically go in and out of the houses and how people do like the tailoring or how they lived and yes it's just basically how they lived back then so anyway I'm part of the area where it's like the shopping area and I'm in front of this camera store and there are prices that go for like 572 572 Kona for a camera how nuts like 
can you imagine getting something so cheap like that and for reference yesterday i just bought a new micro sd card that was 300 kona so these cameras back then were like 500 kona like how insane i wish Okay, ice cream. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit hard to tell what is a real shop and what is a fake shop. Not only can you go into every single building and go back in time, but there are actually like actors and actresses <laughs> walking around. Some people are dressed up in like the old day clothes and are like pretending to like I don't know be like the boats person or washing their clothes in the backyard it's it's a whole experience here and he says i wish that i could be like the cool kids cuz all the cool kids they seem to be in now i'm in botanic hill so this is actually about the same i guess corner as the old town i swear the grass in any botanical garden is always the best it's incredibly green and super plushy now i'm in the greenhouse part of the botanical garden which by the way it's free there's a super cute cafe before coming into the greenhouse that i probably will go in after Now off to get some food. I just went into Plant Food, which is a vegan place. I ordered a bowl. I ended up getting a salad. I guess a bowl means a salad. And I also guess the universe is trying to tell me something without telling me something. Now I'm just shopping around. I just went to Stoy. Found an Acne Sue's sweater shirt for only 700 kona. Oh my goodness, I'm super happy. Now I'm just on the walking street. Now I'm at the top of Sailing Rooftop, which is a mall. I'm on the walking streets and I found Akutayaki with soft ice matcha. I'm pretty shocked because in Copenhagen there is not this. I feel like it's actually kind of hard to find matcha in Copenhagen but I feel like here it's a lot quote unquote easier. Even though I just had something, now I'm on my way to Ofu Street Food. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. It actually reminds me of Stompakus in Ulnse because it's like inside with like crates and just like lots of food stalls. Okay, yes, 
I did just have a teriyaki. But there's so many food options here. I I just I have to get something, so I got a I think it's how you say yapche, like the Korean glass noodles. I don't even think they're glass noodles, but I've had this before and it's so tasty. So I had to get it here. Do I have room? Maybe not, but we'll see. Okay, I got Hiseshi popsicle. It is so tasty. Like literally as you're walking out of the street food place, the last stall to leave is a dessert stall. So of course I had to take my third ice cream of the day. Now I'm going to continue my shopping and I'm going to go to Megasan because they have one here just like in Copenhagen. Now I'm back in the apartment and look at this shirt. This is the little sweater vest I got at Stoy, I think it was. But oh my goodness. I don't typically wear like sweaters that are fitting on me but it was the last in my size so I had to get it but I am so so tired I've been walking all day since 10 a.m. and yes I'm just I'm pooped but tomorrow is going to be another long day so I'll see you guys then hi guys last day in Aarhus and I'm on my way to get a coffee and we can arrive the book and share of love. This one canal reminds me of the Netherlands. Oh, I wanna that iced coffee was so good. It was called Jumbo Bakery. They also had a cardamom, which I was this close to taking, but I didn't. But now I'm on my way to Aarhus Art Museum. Aarhus Arts Museum and today is such a good day to feel young again because if you're under 31 years old you actually get a discounted ticket but if you're under 18 you get it free also this place has 10 floors including the rainbow panoramic floor Super cool, but right now I'm on my way to get food. Okay, so I poured while I was in the restaurant. I'm done eating. Oh my goodness, that was the best pasta if you're interested in eating like vegan. I think it was vegan. I th I'm pretty sure it was vegetarian. Not too sure if it was vegan or not. It's called Golden 46. Now it's a little sprinkly, but hey, that's Danish weather for you. I wandered my way to Doman's Cafe. I have no clue. It's near the water and I just saw a huge dome that looked pretty interesting but I googled it and apparently it's a cultural center.
Google says it's a cultural center. I don't understand. It's a cafe and I'm obsessed. So I got Philips, of course. Yum. And now I'm sitting upstairs because like the dome has an all inside, downstairs, outside, and then upstairs. Not gonna lie, it's a little warm up here, but it's so cool and <laughs> like winds up here. things I would like to say about Ohus is that one a lot of places close early around four ish I mean there's some places still open but majority of places are either not open or close really early so if you do come to here check the times on stuff also it is super easy to get around Ohus I don't even think you need a bike everything is within 10 or 15 minutes walk oh I meant on a Sunday things close early or not closed or not open at all now i'm going to pick up my stuff at the airbnb head on the train and go back to copenhagen but if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do because i make so many other travel videos and i'll see you guys next time bye